This quite possibly is going to be one of the best quality of life changes that I've seen Funcom make to Conan Exiles in a long time. If you've been playing for any amount of time, you may have come across the wandering spawns down on Noob River. Now you know that early on in game, you were not able to knock these out with a basic truncheon. You had to have at least an iron level truncheon and sometimes you wouldn't even be able to knock them out with that. The issue was that the truncheon was actually doing more health damage than it was concussive damage. And you would end up killing these thralls prior to being able to knock them out with the basic truncheon. That's the first truncheon that you can craft in your inventory. However, after the recent hotfix to chapter two of the Age of War, we actually have this issue fixed. The patch notes say fixed an issue where some tier 4 thralls cannot be knocked out before being killed when hit with a basic truncheon. Now I wanted to test all the truncheons and see if they worked the same way that they did before. And I'm happy to announce that they do not work the same way. What they've gone in and done is they've actually taken away the health damage from the truncheons. So, as you are knocking out an enemy, you are only doing concussive damage, you are not doing any health damage. This makes a big difference to all gameplay because you're actually able to get that high tier thrall earlier on in game and that's going to boost your ability to play through the content as you see fit. Now this change only affects the truncheons, it does not affect the love tap. The love tap is a legendary that you get from a skeleton key chest and it will do concussive damage. However, it is a mace, so the mace still does damage. But if you're at the level where you're going to use a love tap, I just recommend putting an advanced blunted weapon fitting on it. I still recommend putting blunted weapon fittings on all of your truncheons when you have the ability to do so, but the fact that you no longer do any health damage to those enemies makes a big difference, especially early on. And I actually showed this in the Let's Play that I'm doing. I was able to knock one of the Wanderers out at level 19 with a basic truncheon. Now it is going to use most of the durability of your truncheon to get one of these guys knocked out, but it's very worth it if you can manage not getting hit and not dying while you're knocking them out. Don't forget to whack the like button if you enjoyed this guide, and I've got a lot of guides for Conan Exiles and other games, so I'd recommend checking to make sure you're subscribed and joining the 52,000 some other people that have already signed up. Now I decided that I was going to test this out on a Sumerian Berserker. I wanted to see if it was possible to use the basic truncheon to knock out a high level tier thrall. I can say that it could be done, however, I did run out of durability on the basic truncheon while trying to knock out the Sumerian Berserker. This is going to be a tough fight definitely going up and trying to knock out a Sumerian Berserker with a basic truncheon is very, very difficult because it's going to take a lot of time to get through their consciousness bar, so I don't necessarily recommend it. However, I can say that it would be possible should you have the want or the urge to go and do so. So you guys, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of this change and what are you going to try to knock out early game? I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there. 